pushed yourself to achieving victory, correct? Yes, Sergeant Sergeant! Marines are addicted to winning! Do we understand? Yes, Sergeant Sergeant! I'm not just saying this, bragging. Our history proves it. On February 19th, 1945, Marines from the 3rd, 4th, 5th Marine Division began the initial assault on a small, black, volcanic island in the Pacific. This eight square mile patch of earth known as Iwo Jima will be the scene of one of the costliest battles of World War II. After five days, Heavy fight! Five Marines and the Navy Corpsmen raised the American flag atop Mount Suribachi. When the photos of this action hit the papers, it immediately became a symbol of the American fighting spirit and rallying a nation wearing a war. The Secretary of the Navy, James Forstall, remarked, the flag on top of Iwo Jima Meet the Marine Corps for the next 500 years. Although the flag was planted, the battle was far from over. Fighting continued for another 30 days, and by the time the island was secured, three of the flag raisers would be among the 6,800 killed in action. Like you, those men came from different parts of the country, different backgrounds and upbringing. They stepped on the yellow footprint and began their journey to become Marines. They learned the essence of discipline, a spirit of corps, and teamwork. Most importantly, they were instilled with our institutional core values of honor, courage, and commitment. Like you, they joined in a time of war, knowing full well many of them would go to combat and some may not return. Those warriors past are no different from you, except they fought their battles and established our legacy. It is your duty to uphold it. During the past three days, your drill instructors subjected you to the final test of your training. It was designed to replicate in some small fashion those things Marines face in combat. Food and sleep deprivation, lack of physical comfort, and endless operation. Over the past three days, many of you had to rely on your fellow recruit to find the strength to press on. Together, you have faced the final challenge of recruit training. You now share a bond forced through hardship that cannot be broken. I want to leave you with this final thought. Every generation, a Marine wonders if the next generation can be entrusted with the security of our nation and the legacy of our Corps. Many years ago, General Chesky Fuller was asked what he thought about the new breed of Marine. He simply stated, old breed, new breed, it doesn't matter as long as it's Marine breed. You have proven that you deserve to be a part of America's warrior elite. You should always remember this day with pride, for you have accomplished what you dare try. You have earned the title United States Marine. Congratulations and super fidelis. Oh!